Welcome to the Game Changer Podcast. Today's topic, how to build a powerful, muscular body. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Top of the morning. Welcome back. This is the Game Changer Podcast with Tim Mangali. You guys better get your minds right and get up and let's go. Go, go, uh-huh. go. See, it's more than the game that we're changing. We on- What's up, my friends? Welcome to the podcast. Man, I'm so excited to be with you guys. I love shooting these podcasts. It's short, simple, punchy, to the point, direct, and you can go do something with it right away. So if this makes a difference, please share this on social media. Send this to someone so they can become a game game changer and make more money, have more fulfillment and live their purpose while making a difference for so many other people. All right. Had a client reach out and say, Hey, Satema, I want to look more like you physically. I want to have more muscles. I want to be more, you know, lose more, like get rid of fat. How do I do this? I'm like, Whoa, that's a loaded question. So today's podcast is going to be, how do you do this? So my first question to him was, well, listen, what's your current reality? How often do you go to the gym? Cause I can't prescribe him something unless I know what's going on. Our terminology is current reality. Like, what's your current reality? He's like, ah, lift on and off, you know, four or five days a week. I've been following this app. So I pulled up the app, looked at the exercises. My man's probably like 280, 290. You know, he's, he's already a big guy. It's a good, good size, good muscle. We just need to shape it now. And so I saw what he's doing. I found out about his eating. I'm like, okay, here we go. Let me start from ground zero. So we're going to put him on a five day split. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. We're going to put him on about an hour workout, as much as he needs. We can do an hour. He's going to have about a two to three minute break in between sets. And we're going to focus on the same exact lifts for the next eight to to 10, 12 weeks. And then we're going to deload for a week. So we're going to go hard for eight to 10 weeks and then we're going to deload. Deload is like cut all the weights in half, still do some, but we're gonna really give the body a chance to rest. And then again, so Monday, right? Again, this is just the podcast. Monday, we're gonna hit chest, triceps, and shoulders. Tuesday, we're gonna hit back, rear delts, and biceps. Wednesday, we're gonna hit calves, and then legs. Now, I do calves like three days a week. I just, I'll do it in between sets. Uh, Thursday's a day off. Friday, we're gonna hit, again, a combo of Monday and Tuesday. So, shoulders. We're gonna hit uh, one chest, we're gonna hit one or two back, and then we're gonna hit a tricep. And then on uh, Saturday, we're gonna hit legs, uh, bicep, and a back. So again, that's not as important as the principles I'm about to share. Number one, if you're going to build muscle, I hope y'all can hear this, you're gonna put some fat on your body. You have to build. In order to build, you have to eat in a caloric surplus. In other words, you have to eat more calories than you burn. And the calories matter. There's these things called macronutrients. Your macros are your proteins, carbs, and fats. So you, again, for me, the general rule of thumb is if I weigh 300 pounds, I wanna be at like one and a quarter, 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein per, per pound. Again, I want you know 350 to 400 grams of protein. Now again, there's so many people out there that share this is the only way. <laughs> but tell you right now, anyone who says that they're doing a marketing thing on you. There's so many ways to do it. There's no bad diet. There's no wrong diet. There's just does it work for you? Is it sustainable? Can you live this for the rest of your life? That's why I don't do a lot of the diets out there because it's not something that's sustainable. So. You gotta hit, make sure that you're eating more than you burn. Well, h- how do we know what you burn? Typically, if you're about 500 calories surplus, you're gonna gain about a pound a week. And if you're lifting to progressive, like to failure or to reps in reserve, failure means like you can't do no more. Now, a lot of people think they're hitting failure. And when they think they're hitting failure, they're still like three to four in the tank. When we say reps in reserve, if I'm like, hey, you got two reps in reserve, which means if I get to 12, and I know I've only got two more, I'm done. If my two reps in reserve is that I get to 10 and I probably only have two more than 10 is the amount of reps. I'm hitting a combo of failure and reps in reserve. You see, if you're really trying to build muscle, ah, you you need this thing called mechanical tension into mechanical failure. There's a lot of techno babble, but let me just put it this way. The, The gains are made in the end of the set where you're pretty much struggling. If you're doing a set of eight and it was easy and you do three sets of eight and it's easy, you ain't doing anything. You're wasting your time. You know, if you're doing 12 and you could probably get 20, you're wasting your time. I like to hit between eight, 10, and 12 reps. That's it. 
if I want to do like a pump set, I'll do that at the end, 15 to 20 with little rest. But see, the point is not to, and then why do I take two minutes of a break? Again, this is my philosophy of how I built my body and all the coaches that I've hired and all the studying that I've done, and I follow a lot of guys, is my body wants to be able to build and adapt to the weight that I'm doing. So if I do the same weight, I'll hit a ceiling, and if I don't do what's called progressive or progression overload, progressive overload, which means I add more weight or I do more reps, then I can't get stronger. For example, when I talk about progressive overload, let's just say on the bench press, I'm doing, I can do 315 pounds, three plates. Let's say I can do that for a set of eight, and I get to eight and I hit failure. My goal is to get to eight every time and then maybe even get to nine or get to 10 or add a five on each side and get to eight with the five on each side, right? You're either adding more weight or you're adding more reps. And again, this is why measuring and tracking and keeping your numbers makes a difference. So we got progressive overload. We're in a caloric surplus and you're consistent. Yes, your body needs to rest. Yes, your body needs to rest. Yes, your body needs to rest. You need eight hours of sleep. You need at least a gallon of water. You gotta hit your macros, your proteins, carbs, and fats. I'm not a cut all my carbs out. I'm not trying to lose weight. I want to lose fat if I'm going to do it. And you can't, it's very difficult to build and to cut at the same time. It can be done. But most people will just either build, cut, or maintain. In a build phase, I'm going to go into a thousand calorie surplus. I want to be eating a thousand more calories than I'm building or than I'm burning, excuse me. And if I want to lose, I've got to go into a surplus. 500 calorie surplus, uh, deficit, I'm sorry, to start. There's surplus and deficit. So what does this mean to you listening? Here you go, ready? If this is confusing, the greatest thing you can do is go get a gym membership and go live three days a week. Just lift. Well, what should I do? Go on YouTube, find any free program and lift. Well, what, uh, just lift. Just get started. Like, just start lifting. You don't need to worry about all this form. I mean, yeah, obviously you do need good form, but just get started. Just get started. Like, that's it. And then go from three days to four days, then four days to five days. Some guys like to do six days, but that's really more of an advanced level. Guys who have built a capacity and a threshold for, I love to go to the gym. Like, I, like I, I love the gym. I love the gym. I'm 90 minutes in the gym from start to finish because I've got about a good 10 minutes of warm up. And then at the end of the workout, like I'm starting to taper off, a good stretch and cool down. But I, I love to lift for a good, like my lifting is a good 75 to 80 minutes. And I mean, we go hard. We're not like, we're not doing junk volume, junk sets. I'm going to failure, progressively overloading, sometimes two reps in reserve. I always eat before the gym because I've been in a bulk phase. So I'm, I got 50 grams of protein, then I'll hit Chick-fil-A and get me a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit with sausage patty and a hash browns. Yep, I drink typically 50 to 60 ounces of water during the workout, easily. Easily 50 to 60 ounces of water during the workout. I'm sipping water about every 10 to 15 minutes. And how do I know it's 50 to 60 ounces? I got a 20 ouncer and then I have a 33 ouncer. Those two together puts me at 50 plus, then I'll usually fill them up again and drink another 20 ounces. So. But that's it, like look, and then you know, people, they wanna get big, but they don't wanna have fat. I got news for you. You're gonna put some fat on the body if you're going to build muscle. The scale is going to go up for a little bit before it comes down. And you gotta eat consistently. You have to eat if you want to build. You cannot build a massive sculpture out of a little tiny pebble. I see this where too many people just, they don't eat enough, they eat like, 2,000 calories a day if they weigh 250 pounds, that doesn't work. I used to do that. It don't work. It don't work. It does not work. So just make up your mind. For me, 2023 was a year of building, and then 2024 is gonna be a year of maintain and then cut, and I wanna do a show. I'm gonna step on a stage. I don't know if I want, I, I mean, I'd rather not wear those funky underwears, right? I'd rather wear the board shorts, but I don't know if they'll let me wear the board shorts. You know, I don't, again, I don't know anything about it, but I've been doing research and talking with my coach and like, okay, I've been building for a year. I'm 315 pounds. I've been eating and lifting, eating and lifting. And when I go to cut, I'm going to still eat. I just have to cut some things out and still eat my carbs and fats. And then I'm going to start hitting cardio and making sure I just dial in the food because I know what I want. So hope this helps. Again, if you're just starting on the path and you want to build muscle, just start lifting. 
just go lift. Just get to the gym. Just get to the weight room and just start. And then we can start to tweak things and add more days and add more volume and add more weights. And even my, my advice to someone who's never worked out in their life and they want to start losing weight, I'd say go lift for three months and then let's go lose weight. Go put some muscle on your body and then let's go lose fat. That's the greatest thing you could do. You don't want to be skinny fat. And what you want to do is have strength. Lifting weights are so good for the bones. Lifting weights are so good for your, for everything. And I see a lot of women and men who get to, they, they, they think they're going to lose weight by going to do the Stairmaster. You, you can do that. I'd, I'd take lifting over the Stairmaster any day. If you're going to do Stairmaster, well, just call it what it is. You're going to strengthen your heart, your cardio. Hey guys, if the podcast resonates, if it touches your heart and soul and it gives you greater vision and clarity to go build the life you want so you can make a difference inside of your world, your family's world, and the community itself, all I ask that you do is share the podcast forward. We don't run ads, we don't have sponsors, but we can make a difference and help people become game changers for their lives, for their families, if we share the message. So share this with somebody who needs to hear it and have an amazing day. Okay, my friends, hope this helps. Can't wait to see the results. Can't wait to come back to this episode when I'm stepping on the stage doing a show. Until next time, go be a game changer. I'm out. Let's go. Uh See, it's more than the game that we changing. We don't do it for the block, do it for the name. No, there ain't no stopping it. If you really want it, better rock with it. This is how to be a game changer. Better put your pride down, heavy, get your pen up. Wanna be the greatest, we ain't stopping till we win, yo. This is how to make it when they hating, we ain't worried what they saying. This is how to, how to be a game changer.